Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our weekly fantasy football advice. And we're on week eight, man. The fantasy season flying by. The NFL regular season is flying by. But can't do this without the bestest co-host in Benchwire history, Justin. How are we doing, man? Well, I mean, there was only two, and I had pretty stiff competition. So finally being the best, that means a lot. Yeah. I, dude, you're like awesome, man. You're, you're the greatest. The greatest well, of all man. time. It was what? Well. Do you want to make out? Oh, uh, later, later. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, we're not coming out yet. Maybe on our 69th episode. Oh, that is, what is that? 10 episodes. Yeah. 10 weeks. 10 weeks from now. <laughs> In 10 weeks, we'll come out. It'll be your Christmas <laughs> present by then. It'll be a Christmas <laughs> present. Stay tuned. <laughs> we'll be under the mistletoe. Yeah. Benchwire, live from under the mistletoe. <laughs> Coming soon. The theaters. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough with that. But, yeah, how are we doing today, Justin? Good, man. I'm doing good. Fantasy, we got Dub there. Feeling good, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you won last week, I believe, right? I did. I played arguably the worst team in the league. No, no offense needed. Curry boy, Nathan. I yeah. did have to take care Rogers of Rogers. These there. nuts, Nathan. All right. Your team sucks, and you got to figure out what to do now. You lost Chris Godwin. All right. That's your best player in the team. Right. Malik Neighbors Ooh. didn't look so hot. Uh, yeah, his team's ass. We could, yeah, let's go into your matchup first since we. Since we brought it up, we're here. talking we're, about it. We're talking about. It. Let's uh, show it here because we always show my matchup first. I wanted to show your matchup first today. So mm, the floor you, is yours, you. man. So look at the final score right there: eighty-five to one twenty-seven. Wow. Yeah. As you can see, the leader of my team, the superstar of my team, the guy that makes me the most money, Jaden Motherfucking Daniels. They won 40 to 7, but he got hurt in like the first drive of the game on offense. That, that that was sad. That hurt me. That hurt my soul. But I know he's got Caleb Williams coming into town. He's gonna bounce back. He's gonna offend himself after that 30. I don't even think it was 30. I'm joking. But Jane Daniels will offend himself. That was not he's gonna lead him. He's gonna lead him to victory next week. And he'll give me. More points. He'll give me over 20 again. But this week, he just got hurt, man, and they took him out because, ah, the Panthers will beat him. Yeah, David Montgomery, I started him. Eight points. He he left for a while there. He got hurt, but he ended up coming back. Good to see. Brees Hall, that's one guy that's benefiting from this Defonte Adams addition. He was all over the place. He was catching checkdowns from Rodgers, taking him almost to the house a couple times, man. Um, yeah, he's really starting to string some good games together after I make that trade. That's why I did that. That was great. Yeah, my two consistent guys, Chase Jefferson, 17, 21, did their thing, man. They always do their thing. They always show up for me. I I like that a lot, too, and I like their matchups this week as well. Jamar playing Philly, Jefferson against – Los Angeles Rams. I think those are favorable matchups for them to even take advantage of. The tight end's been rough for me, man. Laporta, only three and a half, but Jameson Williams got suspended. So he's out for the next couple games. So that means maybe more Laporta targets finally. So hopefully those points will go up. But yeah, Devon Achan, I also started. Ten and a half is pretty good, but with Tua back now, that's going to go up too. So yeah, I feel I feel really good about my team going forward. And look at that. A combined 35 points for my kicker and defense, too. That's awesome. I love that. 21. They they crushed Spencer Rattler and Chris Boswell. Yeah, I dropped Justin Tucker, but he's been a, a good pickup, man. He's put on a lot of points, man. And yeah, Kyler got 20. Good for him. Shakir 13. George Pickens, 22.1. Did not see that coming. That was awesome. Awesome to see. Sackerts with a cool 14. Wicks with 13.8. I like it. And Big Speed, almost 24. Awesome stuff, man. 
awesome production yeah. for my bench. And I didn't even – it wasn't, like, too much of a concern, too. I took care of Rodgers these nuts, man. Yeah. Rodgers these nuts. Maybe you should start Rodgers next week because Mahomes ain't it. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, let's talk about my matchup. It was a nail biter. One by two. 93.66 and 91.24. Let's talk about it. Um, had to start Darnold because Justin Fields no longer the starting quarterback of the Steelers. So that's unfortunate. But Darnold, he stood in there, got me 16 points. Can't complain. J.K. Dobbins had a down game with nine points. He was projected 16. Alvin Kamara, another down game. So that, that was kind of rough. Uh, but Terry McLaurin had an average game of 15. Diggs, below average game of seven. So that was concerning. Uh, Kate Otten, so that was a waiver wire pickup. And he's going to be a guy that is going to get a lot more targets now with Godwin and Mike Evans out. So that's a guy that I might be starting every week now from here on out. Tyreek Hill, he was playing the Colts secondary, okay? And Justin had for his shit take of the week that he had zero receptions. Man, was he damn near close. He only had one. <laughs> no. He only had one. And, dude, I thought with that Colts secondary being how awful it was all year, I'm like, I'm going to give this man a shot. I drafted him number three overall for a reason. He's due to break out eventually. He put up a stinker. He had uh, zero Bengals targets for half. Yeah, that just, that just can't happen. Yeah. Two is coming back, so that, that's a good sign for his numbers. Bengals defense, 15 points. Solid day. They played the Browns. What do you expect? Young White Koo, he missed a field goal, and he made an extra point or two extra points. So that's how he ended up with one. But my bench, man, my bench. So Justin was right uh, last week. I should have started Brian Thomas. I should have. 22 points against the Patriots. I just wasn't confident with it. I don't know what it was. I just wasn't confident with it. Rashad White balled out out of nowhere, 30 points. And he might be getting more points now with, you know, Chris Godwin, Mike Evans out. So that might be a guy I need to start more. We'll see. Mari Cooper balled out first game. Didn't see the field much, but when he did, he produced. Got a touchdown. Kareem Hunt looks like the best player in the Chiefs offense right now. So might have to start him every week. Uh, Justin Fields, yeah, well, he's not starting anymore, so he might be on the way out. And I picked up Devin Singletary um, and, you know, stashed him. Didn't do much. Played the Eagles, so that was fun. But, yeah, it was a nail-biter, and Matt had Derrick Henry scare me there. thought I was going to lose, but Kate Otten showed up and performed there on Monday night, and we got the job done. So now we move on to three and four in the season and got two wins in a row. So we're getting a win, stacking them up. That's what we needed. And now we're back on track to push for a playoff spot here. So just got to keep winning, find ways to win. And I forget who I'm playing this week, but maybe I can get another win and have a streak going here. So, yeah, man. yeah I'll take it. Maybe. Maybe. But let's move into our favorite categories of the week. Our stardoms, our sit our pick and our fuck -ums. So, turn the floor over to you, man. You haven't talked in a little bit. Who's your stardom of the week? Yeah, uh, the secondary, you know very well, is not very good. Uh, this quarterback came in, and the offense looked better. Uh, my stardom of the week, if you're looking for a wide receiver two or a flex, George Pickens against New York. I like that matchup for him. I think he can cook. I think he can eat in that matchup. He dominated that matchup against like a Jets defense that was good. Sauce Garner and those boys. So he's going against a much weaker secondary than the, what the Jets have. So, and Russell Wilson, whatever reason, he throws a better ball. It's more like an arc, it's more of a lob. Or Chris Collinsworth, the GOAT, likes to say, a moon ball. <laughs> a moon ball. <laughs> yeah. He throws a nice moon ball. So, with that being said, you got to start George Pickens if you're looking yeah. for him. That makes uh, wide receiver two sweet or sense, especially so, against this shitty giant secondary. That's there. my logic there. It's been awful. Um, my star of the week, a guy that I see will get his production a lot up now because some players got hurt, and that's Kate Otten, the guy I was just speaking about. Start of the week for me, if you know, 
tight end position has been the greatest for you. You're looking for a guy that's been on your bench, maybe he's available in waivers. Kate Otten is the guy to start this week. Going against the Falcons there, I feel like he's a security b- blanket for a Baker there. Now with Mike Evans out, Chris Godwin out. So I expect Kate Otten to get a lot of targets, and I think he's a great start this week. So, yeah, if you need help at the tight end spot, don't know what to do. Kate Otten's a guy. Start him of the week against the Falcons. Yeah, man. I feel that. I like it. So, turn over you. What's your cinema of the week? This one this one was tough. I, I was looking. I'm like, I don't really know. I ha- I was floating like, I'm going quarterback here. I was floating Mahomes. I'm like, he could get right against the Raiders. I don't really like that. I was completely wrong last week. Aaron Jones had a good game. So, don't really listen to me on sit I don't really know what I'm talking about. Then I thought Baker Mayfield for a second. I'm like, Falcons defense is okay. Raheem Morris, you know, losing losing your top guys, that could set him back a little bit. But I think he'll be serviceable enough to start. Guy I went to is uh, it's Brock Purdy, you know. I think Mike – isn't Mike going to like coming back and all that? I went, with, I went with Brock Purdy just out of uncertainty of – uh, his playmakers, I know George Kittle's hurt. Uh, Debo should be back. That will help. But And Juwan Jennings should be back. But I don't know, man. They're just, they're just too banged up for me. So I went with Brock Purdy. I think there's better quarterbacks you could probably get this week. Sit of the week. Okay. I, I feel like – I think it's a big Jordan Mason game because of that Dallas run defense too. Is Kittle actually out? or like? Yeah, it, it, he has a foot sprain. And that that's bad news for my other fantasy team. So did not know that. That's what I saw. Yes, might have to make a waiver claim for Kate Otten if he's available. So there we go. Yeah, and I also yeah. have Dallas Goddard in that league too. So yeah, yeah, he's questionable out. right now. Sprain foot. Sprain foot. Eh, he could play through it. It's George Kittle. <laughs> but my sit of the week is Michael Pittman Jr. Versus the Houston Texans. It's a guy that's been like up and down all year, man. Like he'll have some good weeks and then he'll have some shitty weeks. And, you know, with Anthony Richardson starting, I I just feel like I don't trust Anthony Richardson versus the Texans. I know he had he had a decent game. They played week one, correct? And that was his best game of the year. Right? Yeah, he played well that game. I do believe, you know, coming off that injury, he has to knock off some rust. And the Texans defense, they want to, you know, show up this game after losing last game. And I feel like they'll be a force to be reckoned with this weekend. I feel like they'll shut down Michael Pittman. And it's going to be more of a Jonathan Taylor type game if he's back. I I think he's expected to be back this week. So I, I just don't trust Michael Pittman. And I, I just don't trust any of the Colts receivers this week. But if you have Michael Pittman, I would sit him for – there's probably a lot of better guys out there as well. So I would sit Michael yeah. Pittman. This week. Stay away from him. Yeah. Anthony Richardson, I was pretty high on him coming this year. But, yeah, he's struggling the throw to football, which is concerning. He really is. And they look – the offense looks better with Flacco in there. And the receivers are more involved. They're getting more targets. So with Richardson in there, that makes total sense. I would be pretty out on Michael Pittman too. Yeah, so it's unfortunate, but just how it's turned out to be this year. Um, but who's your pick of the week? Uh yeah, I, I I'm going I'm going with Sterling Shepard because they need a receiver help, you know. Um he was getting targets. You know, with Godwin out, with Evans up, they need someone from that receiver position to step up, and I think Sterling Shepard's in line to do that. So, if we need some receiver depth, want to add someone, I'll look at Sterling Shepard. Took the words right out of my mouth, man. That's my pickup of the week. Sterling Shepard. Yeah, I think he's a guy that's going to step up. He has that connection with Baker. They played in Oklahoma. They've been using them. They use them there in the red zone, two-point conversions. They yep. use them there in the slot. He's getting rushing plays. Like, they're finding ways to be creative with Sterling Shepard. And I'm rooting for the man, you know. 
He's a giant for life and is a guy easy to root for. Um, and, yeah, I think he's a dog. And I think he will pick up the slack in that receiver room. So, yeah, Sterling Shepard, my pickup of the week as well. Um, but, yeah, yeah, let's turn it over to the last category, the best category. Who are you fucking this week, Justin? Whoa, pause. Uh, no, I know, I, I'm, I know, no homo, no homo, no homo here. Uh, yeah, um, someone on your dad's team, man. Bad offense, rookie quarterback, just not not a great offense. Not a Cortland Sutton, even though he's a talented receiver, fuck him. Why? Just because the offense is struggling. Even though Sean Payton's a good offensive mind and everything. It just it, the offense is just flat at times. Uh, it just heavily rely on like the running backs, Julio McLaughlin, Javante Williams, and those guys back there to really generate any kind of offense. Uh, he if you watch, I was just watching a New Orleans game. He had a hard time like getting the ball downfield, just making the right reads, which is rookie things too. So yeah, I'm I'm out on Court and Sutton, man. Hey, I respect it. Because, yeah, that offense is putrid, and they just can't find a way to get him involved there. So, yeah, I respect that a lot. My fuck him of the week. He's on my team. It's unfortunate. But with Russell Wilson starting now. Tyreek. Not (laughs) Tyreek. With Russell Wilson starting now, it's time to move off of Justin Fields, man. I just don't see him going back after what just transpired this past Sunday night. You could just see it, the way Russell Wilson throws the football there. And, you know, he, he looks poised in the pocket, makes the right throws, makes the right reads. He still has some juice left in the tank. I think Fields was good for fantasy, like when, you know, given the opportunity. Like, he's good rushing-wise and all that. But he's not worth uh, keeping on your roster there because there's other guys that you can have, like a Russell Wilson, right? I'd rather have him now because Justin Fields is not going to be playing. So go pick up Justin – or no, go pick up Russell Come pick me up. Yeah, go pick him up. Go pick up Russell Wilson if you do have Justin Fields because Justin Fields is done. It's done. It's sad. He was a top 10 quarterback in fantasy. Um, But, yeah, it looks like his fantasy season is over. Uh, Bearing – you know, depending if there's an injury, though, he might come back. But – Oh no! Fuck Justin Fields. It's sad, but you got to move off of him. It's time to rip off the band and get rid of him. Yeah. But yeah, those are our stardoms, our stidums, our pickums, and our fuckums. There. Yeah. Let us know if you guys agree, disagree down in the comment section down below. Love to hear you guys' thoughts about that. And Justin, any final thoughts today before we end off the video? Yeah, I guess I do have a comment on Justin Fields. Mike Tomlin, as evident, he's not afraid to change. Like, it was reported that he was the only one that wanted to make a quarterback change and put Russell Wilson in. And watching that uh, Jet game Sunday night, Justin Fields was warming up on the sidelines. So, even though Russell Wilson looks like he's going to be the starter moving forward, don't be surprised if he stinks to bed for a half or a game. He will. Don't think he won't go back to Fields mm-hmm. because he's has the cojones and he will do what's best for his football team, what he thinks. So it could it could go back to Justin Fields. So keep that in mind. But, yeah, I totally get it. As of now, Russell Wilson is the guy. He's just a better thrower of the football, even though Fields is younger and more athletic. But is he worth the roster spot, right? That no, was, no. Yeah, he's not. No. So it's time to move off. That's, that's what I was getting at. But, yeah, he could easily come back into the lineup, like, Honestly, it could happen, and I could see it happening. But mm. at this moment in time, if you have Justin Fields on the roster, you got to fuck him. You got to drop him. Pause. You got to get rid of him. Uh, you, said, you said pause. Yeah, so uh, we can end off the video there. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you did enjoy this video, drop a like. Subscribe. Go check out our link tree. We got all our social medias on there or Instagram, or TikTok, or Twitter. We're going to be more active on there. And we got to do a better job about doing that. So we're going to do that. We're going to make that happen for you guys. Put some more shorts, some more reels, TikToks, all that good stuff. But, yeah, 
we will end off the video there. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. And Benchwire. Out. Oh.